Hey Terry, this is Ryan down at Drake. We're going to be taking uh, seven offline here in about four or five minutes. We're standing in the control room of Drake Power Plant. This is an end of an era where unit six and seven have been shut down for good. I'm going to start bringing her down. All right, what's what? 10 megawatts. All right, here goes a trip on unit seven. Okay, unit seven is offline. We are celebrating the role that Drake has played at the city of Colorado Springs over the last many, many decades. We're switching from a plant that served us very well over almost a century. And we are changing to better sources of power that are more adjustable to the varying needs, also more environmentally friendly, and will provide a better entrance to our city. Uh, but we're doing that in a way that is actually more economical for our ratepayers. We are completing the assembly of the six units. The units will feed the grid in the first quarter of next year. The future is what we're focused on. So we have 175 megawatts of solar that will come online beginning of 2024. We have battery storage that we are going forward with. We need to make sure that we're able to supply the power necessary for people to enjoy their lives here in the Pikes Peak area. Generations of our employees have been keeping this place um, operating so we can supply energy to the city. Footprint of Drake, as we know that we need to dismantle safely, could take two and a half years or so. It is very emotional for me. I mean, this is a place we spend a lot of a lot of hours, you know, days and nights, and so it's hard. But on the other hand, and this is the beginning of a journey, an exciting journey, looking at the future and hope that the next generation of employees will have the same sentiment about protecting, maintaining, operating these very critical units that, that is the lifeline of the city.